In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use UACC key switching in our contact libraries to switch between different patches that you've loaded within a multi. First, you'll notice that I've opened Albion 1 and within our articulation menu here, we don't have the legato available in the main patch. So to use legato for strings in Albion 1, we also need to load the legato patch. When loading two patches within a single track of contact, we also need to make sure that they're reading from the same MIDI channel. The best way to ensure this is to switch the MIDI channel to Omni. Now when I play the track, you'll see that both patches are playing. However, we don't want both to play at the same time, and we want to be able to switch between the different articulations within both patches. And you'll notice that if we use the traditional way of key switching, which is the notes at the bottom end of the keyboard, you'll see that we're switching between both articulations at the same time. So how do we use an individual articulation from each patch that we've loaded within the multi? Well, it's possible to do this through UACC key switching, which can be accessed by selecting the expert view, going down to the padlock here, selecting the drop down, and then selecting lock to UACC key switch. I'm going to do the same for the legato patch. Now when we click on each articulation, each articulation has a velocity value. This is good because it separates out the articulations within each patch that we've loaded. So the next thing that we need to do is set up our MIDI device to select these specific velocity values or in logic we can set up an articulation set. To navigate to the articulation set menu, select the info box at the top here and then make sure that you open the track drop down. Select the drop down next to the articulation set menu, click new, and you'll see that the new articulation set is created. The first thing that we need to do is to rename the articulations and add new articulations in, depending on which ones we wish to use. Double click on the articulation name to rename it. Because we're using the Omni MIDI channel, there's no need to select a MIDI channel from the menu here. So we can now proceed to the output that's going to trigger the articulation. When understanding UACC key switching, the first thing to understand is that you'll be using MIDI channel CC32 and that each of these velocity values indicated in the plugin here indicate a different velocity within MIDI CC32. So in the same way that you would use MIDI CC1, otherwise known as dynamics, to control the different dynamic levels of the instrument, this has a value of 0 to 127. We also have the same values here from 0 to 127. And in this instance for the longs, we have velocity value 1. So we need to make that consistent with our articulation setup here. The first thing that we need to select is the type. And because we're using MIDI CC, we need to select controller. Next, the MIDI channel can be left blank because again, we're using the Omni MIDI channel. Next up is the selector, which is the MIDI CC channel that we're using. As mentioned, this is MIDI CC 32. The final thing that we need to do is select the value, which can be found in the UACC menu here. For the legato patch that we want to use here, the strings mid, we need to select velocity value 27. For longs, we're on velocity value one. For spiccato, we're using 42. And for tremolo, we'll be using velocity value 11. You can find a full list of our UACC values in the link in the description below. Now that we've created our articulation set, we can save it to our articulation sets folder and then begin to use it in the MIDI score here. First, highlight the notes that you wish to change and then select an articulation from the drop down. And now that we've set up the articulation map and selected the articulation for each note, you'll see that we now transition smoothly between each articulation that we've loaded within our contact multi. And you'll notice that when we're not using the legato, because we're using an articulation from the top patch, the legato patch is listed as non, which means that there's no sound from this particular patch playing when the other patch is in action. 
So this is the essence of why UACC key switching is great, because it gives you the ability to switch between the different patches, but only stream the audio from one of those patches. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.